Hey guys, um, hopefully this will actually go across and I do have a cold so I'm going to go through it anyway. Um, first things first is that I did get a haircut and it looks really quite strange but when um, when it's all dry it's all like curly because my hair is naturally really curly. Um, it was really long but um, I didn't take care of it very well and I had to get it cut and I didn't anticipate the woman cutting this much off my hair but it's good because it's going to grow back really healthy and um, I wanted to give it some body and it looks a bit flat now because I think I just because it's wet but when it's like frizzy or fluffy it really looks really nice and curly so I quite enjoy it. Um, I just let her do whatever she wanted to do or whatever th she thought was best for my hair so and I like it so it really means that I don't have to tie it up that much and because my hair is naturally curly it gives it some body. Okay so it's one minute and I've been talking about my hair. Okay so I so thought I'd do a very quick review of uh, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. I just finished this book and I'm giving it 5 out of 5 stars or 10 out of 10 or whatever you have. Uh, I absolutely adored this book. I loved it. Um, it. I cannot really find any fault with it and I like to be very sort of constructive with my reviews as well and say okay did I find anything troubling or was there something that made the book um, not as fantastic but really I, I honestly cannot say anything bad about this book. Now there are a few th there are a few reasons why I love it. Number one, the error. Um, I believe it's in the 1800s and every time I think about historical I think oh I don't really like historical but I love historical um, especially when it's done well and I think Jessica really really just it was so visual and it was beautiful and it was um, atmospheric and creepy and eerie and it just the setting and the house and the um, tension surrounding this, the community was just done really well and I really like that, that time period and I think it's a wonderful uh, setup for this story because the story is about witches and while I do like modern witches I just find that sort of um, historical elements from witches go really well together I don't know if I've read many books but I have read some the next thing I loved about this book was Kate. Now I can really, really connect with Kate. Now Kate is a kind of girl or woman who has lost her family and I haven't so much lost my family but I do know what it means to take care of family as well. So you know try and hold everything together and things like that as well and I really really connected with Kate on that level of sort of being there for your family regardless and sometimes putting yourself before putting your family before um, what you want to do and things like that or what your dreams are so I really felt for Kate and I felt that she was a strong character there were times when I thought she was being a little bit childish but I think I would have acted the same way because you know when you've got so many options and so many choices and yet you can't you don't have the power to decide because there's so many things that you have to consider and so many consequences that could happen after each thing you kind of want to rebel a little bit and just do your own thing and be your own person and wish away everything so I really uh, I really like that aspect of the novel because I think it gives um, it gives Kate some depth to her as well. Um, she has things that she's going to lose. She is going to lose a lot of things. You can tell that from the get go. She doesn't really have that much of a choice, but it's really about seeing how it's really about what seeing how she um, tackles those choices and what she is willing to do, what she's not willing to do to protect her family and I really love her family as well. I really enjoyed getting to know 
Um, each of the sisters as well in their own ways and they're very very distinct and unique in their own rights um, and I really like that I like that they're all very they're very smart and I like that too I like that they're smart characters and um, love the romance love the romance aspect now to me this it is a, I wouldn't say it's a triangle per se but I guess it would be but I love the romance in this. It was convincing, convincing romance for sure. Because I could see that. I could, I could totally understand that. And obviously, I had my favourite man. Um, Finn would definitely be my favourite man, considering he loves books and he's just overall a really, really wonderful man and wonderful character and swoon worthy. And I just, it just crushes me throughout throughout the book to read about uh, about Finn. Um, the other character who is interested in um, Kate too is her lifelong best friend and his name is Paul and he's a really good character as well but I kind of I was very suspicious of him throughout the whole novel and I'm still kind of suspicious of him and it kind of adds a little bit of mystery to it. Um, what I love about this book is that I didn't see a lot of things coming. There were a few things where I thought, okay, yeah, I kind of know where that's leading. But there was a lot of twists in this book, um, for me personally. And I really liked reading about that. Uh, I also just was very addicted with it. It's very fast-paced once you get into it. I really loved these, how the chapters started out. Overall, it made me feel like I was reading like a really old book, and I love that. Like a really nice historical book, and it's just beautiful. And the text is fantastic. Um, her writing style is just amazing. I loved it. I loved the descriptions, the atmosphere, the characters, the intensity, the the mystery, the sort of um, paranormal aspects to it. It just, it really is a fantastic book. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just trying to breathe. <laughs> um, I definitely want to read the next one. I want to read the next one right now, but obviously I don't have the next one. And I'm definitely going to pick it up. I think it just came out this month. And I'm so glad I read this. I love the witch aspect of it. I just, oh, I, I can't talk about this book enough. And I hope I've covered everything. I think I have, like, characters... Um, the ending, oh my god, oh, I feel sick, I really feel sick, and, but at the same time, I'm so eager to read the next book, I just, why, why do I have to wait, why do I have to wait, um, I must see if I can find it in my library, I'm not sure if they have it, but I'm going to check anyway, because if they do, hell yeah, I'll pick it up. But uh, overall, I just love this book so much. I'm so glad I read it. It's definitely one of my favourites. Definitely one of my favourites of the year because, like I said, I can't find anything you feel that any faults with it. If you read Born Wicked, let me know your thoughts. If you're thinking about reading it, I definitely would recommend reading it if you've got it. Um, I'm just, I love this cover too. I don't... I do, I, I just like the other covers, but I just wish that they'd kept with this one because it so suits the story. It's beautiful and eerie and just, it really does suit this story. Oh, also the brothers. That's one thing I wanted to mention too. I almost forgot because it's a, it's a very big part of the, the story. I cannot stand... I'm not like feminist or anything like that, I guess. I don't know. But really, the whole brotherhood just pissed me off so much. And there were times in this book where my heart was ripped out. I felt like I was going to throw up because I could not stand violence against women. I could not stand it in any capacity. And I know it was in peril to the story, imperative to the story, but I just that the brothers would all die in a hole and, uh, and there's some hypocritical stuff in here too like hypocritical like, characters and just oh just want to murder them like 
grab that pistol and shoot them there. So, yeah. You'll know what I'm talking about if you read the book. And when you read the book, you'll be like, oh. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that is my... Well, well it's going to be quick, but that's my review on my thoughts, book thoughts on Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Um, I'm hoping to do my wrap-up either today or tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.